Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Hello viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. This is the final mission, the big score. Yes, I'm not covering main missions, but this is an important one. Once you succeed at this mission, you will have nearly a lot of money. And I say nearly because you still have to go through the final mission which I will cover on this channel. Now, you can do it the hard way or the subtle way. The hard way is option A, which I've shown, and you have to infiltrate the gold depository and then get away with the gold with modified vehicles. This has kind of a Italian job feel, and watch that movie, the old one and the remake are both very good movies, but I digress. And the objectives to get the final mission going can be done by any character. The first one is done by Michael. The next one, getting the cars, I did with Franklin. So let's get on with the big score. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet! <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael... He changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me. Right, huh? enough, enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh... This is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. 
Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Jobs for the bureau team. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Hey, I used them at the jewelry store, I used them at the bureau. I'll use them here. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but... They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Now, the first objective is to get tire spike strips. Anyone can get it, and the easiest way to do it, I'm using um, Michael because I was playing him at the time, so I might as well just get the tire spike strips, and that's real easy to get to. You get to a Los Santos police area, which is behind the salvage area, in um, pulling a favor missions that I've already done a video about, and Franklin can buy that salvage mission. Easy enough to get, so let's get those tire spikes. You won't be able to climb up on the shed by your own, so I'm going to move Michael's car to the side here and yeah you can jump up climb over the wall if you want there's a gate here that is locked which you can't get through and again you can climb up the wall but the easiest way is to just back the car up jump on the car and then jump on to the well, this is becoming difficult. But, yeah, he keeps sliding over the car. There you go. Yeah, this, actually, the new generation console makes things a little difficult. Wasn't this hard in the using the 360, but I digress. Now you've got to sneak over to the van, and once you get it and steal the tire spikes, all is good. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. Hey, cara de verga. You have a dick face. I was spending. Whatever.
easy peasy. And it's a very short drive to hide the van, which is by the whatever strip club. You hide it behind the strip club. And then it's mission complete. I mean, that's the easy part of the mission. Rounding up the cars is another one that, like I said, I'm going to switch to Franklin and have him do it. But I'm going to fast forward through all of the driving that you do in modification. Once you get the Mustangs or Mavericks, they're called, then you can begin the main mission. And you leave the police van and mission accomplished. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. I fantasize about killing every one of those fuckers in rehab. Lester texts you the location of the gauntlets, and the easiest one to get is right over here in Rodeo, or whatever they call it, Drive. And it's just sitting on the street. Once you jump in, you can drive it to custom car area and get it modified. For the sake of video length, I'm not even going to fast forward through the drives because, yeah, they're quite extensive and you have a lot of extra time added into the video. So again, to cut down on length, I'm not going to show you the drives. I'm just going to show you one modification, though. Then you got to drive the gauntlet to a secured storage area. Again, I'm not going to follow the, um, or fast forward the drive. I'm just going to cut to the safe storage area here. First that the UD gauntlet is modded and in the lockup. Thanks for letting me know. Now on to the next gauntlet. The next gauntlet is located somewhere around this area here. This gauntlet is in a parking structure at the top, and again, I'm showing you the area. You can either drive the gauntlet down and bring it to Los Santos Customs, or you can try and jump it off the roof, which is what I'm going to show you what Franklin will be doing right now, getting ready to jump this gauntlet off the roof. These stunt jumps are necessary for 100%. If you don't do them all, well, yeah. In this case, you got to give it a shot and make it 
Otherwise, it doesn't count toward 100%. So I'm getting lined up, and I want to get as much speed as possible here. That was a failure. You could wreck the car. So I'm going to take it back to Los Santos Customs and I'll show you the location of the next uh, gauntlet car. The next gauntlet is located right here and I'll show you on the map. It is located in this area. Uh, right near the impound lot, you can just walk up and take it, no big deal, and bring it back to Los Santos Customs, and then the area where you store the gauntlets, at which point you can move on to the main mission of the big score. Now, due to the length of this video, I'm actually going to do part two of the big score because I'm already into a 16-minute video, and I don't want to have a 32-minute video or larger video. I try and keep my times down. If you found this video informative, hit the like button, the thumbs up icon, you know, and feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, I post four a week involving video games. And you want to stay informed, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be informed when I post these videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.